most mornings, this is my breakfast, if you want to call it a breakfast. It's the non-breakfast breakfast, which is bulletproof coffee. Uh, doesn't take much, doesn't require much. One coffee mug, one bottle of instant coffee, and I get criticism for that because people say, don't you know how much better really good brewed coffee is? But I'll tell you the truth. When I put butter and cream in my coffee, I'm tasting more butter and cream than I am coffee in a way. And the coffee's sort of like secondary. So uh, that's just how I do it. And then, of course, uh, my butter, a stick of butter. I don't use a whole stick, of course. I use about a tablespoon. And then I throw in some heavy whipping cream. So that is it. Let's go ahead and do what I do most mornings. Now, if I'm coming off a 36-hour fast, then I'll eat a regular breakfast. And on Saturdays, that's my celebration day. I eat a regular breakfast, even if I'm not coming off a fast. So I'm gonna cut off about a tablespoon, cut it into some small little chunks. And there we go, a bunch of small chunks, kind of break them up so they don't stick together. They'll melt in the microwave very well. And I will throw in some heavy cream. And this is more than a tablespoon, as you can tell. Um, and I've got a letter from a lady about this bulletproof coffee non-breakfast breakfast that I think uh, would be good to read. So after we get after I get done making that, I uh, will do that. So I'm going to go add some water and uh, put this in the microwave and then I'll come back and we'll talk some more about why this is so powerful and so effective. And there are other options you could do and use instead of the BP coffee. Well, my bulletproof coffee is complete and I have it here. And this is what Benedict and I normally do. Uh, she doesn't always have the BP coffee. Uh, she might sometimes have regular, but uh, I usually do, in fact, almost always, unless I'm gonna eat a breakfast. And of course, that's what I recommend often uh, for people that are gonna do the two meal a day, go ahead and have that third meal, have your bulletproof coffee. I got a letter from a lady, I think this was a lady, uh, actually not certain about that, but anyway, from an individual, man or woman, and uh, I thought it was an interesting letter and I thought I'd read it and make a few comments about it. Hello, Dennis, they say. I've been struggling so much with the two-meal eating plan. Well, if you're not used to it, that is a bit of a struggle. But then I had a moment of clarity. Well, thank God for moments of clarity. <laughs> they say, you're having breakfast, you just don't call it breakfast. You're having your bulletproof coffee in the morning, that is your breakfast. It has calories and fat plus caffeine. Why wouldn't you call it breakfast then? It would be a breakfast without carbohydrates. Now that I figured that out, it's easier to implement the challenge menu plan. I have instituted a protein drink in the morning and that makes the rest of my meal plan work out. By the way, thanks for your advice. These past few weeks, my A1C reading dropped from 8.5 in early November to 6.9 today. My triglycerides dropped from 177 to 99. Doesn't surprise me, but I'm very grateful that they're seeing that victory. So let's talk about the, the comment. This individual said, well, you say skip breakfast, but you're really having a breakfast, and I'll have to plead semi-guilty to that. This is somewhat of a breakfast. It does have calories. I'm not getting by calorie free for sure. And uh, it is satisfying. It is satiating to a degree, not so much as having a huge, big breakfast meal, but uh, still, I'm getting some calories. I'm getting some fat. What I'm not getting is carbohydrates. There's almost no carbs to uh, the, uh, the cream and the butter and the coffee and the water. So I'm just not getting carbs. But there's one other thing I'm not getting, and that is I'm not getting as many calories as I would get if I ate a big breakfast. This is a, um, equivalent to quite a small breakfast. So on the one hand, you're, I'm cutting the carbs to almost nothing. Secondly, I'm cutting the calories a bit from what it would be if I ate a, a larger breakfast. 
But they're right, and that is that it is a, a somewhat of a meal. It's a meal you drink rather than a meal you eat. So let me kind of explain the value of this and then perhaps some alternatives. Let's see. Uh, this, is, this is kind of the standard way a person's blood sugar works for a person who eats three meals a day and has some snacks in between. You're going to bump up every time you eat. That's just normal. And especially if there are some significant carbohydrates in your meal, uh, you'll bump up even more. So you bump for, for breakfast. You get hungry around 10, 30, 11 a.m. You have a snack. You bump up some more. You, then you have your lunchtime, maybe 12, 45, 1 o'clock, whenever. You bump up significantly, especially, again, if you have a lot of carbs. Uh, Mid-afternoon, you're kind of wearing down and you're, you just feel like I need something to keep me going. You have a snack, you bump up a bit more. Maybe you, you could even bump up as much as your meal if it's a high carb snack and then dinner you bump up some more and maybe toward the evening before you go to bed you eat a, a late night snack, you bump up some more. So you're basically just raising your blood sugar all day long. Not a healthy situation, not a good scenario for someone who is concerned about blood sugar. Now, if you're 18 years old and you've got perfect glucose control and an A1C at around 4.5, you could probably do this and get away with, with it for years. But, but if you're uh, starting to put on a few years and your blood sugar control is falling apart, uh, this is not really what you want to do. So what can you do about this? Well, first of all, by having bulletproof coffee with essentially no carbs, you're not going to get in, uh, hardly any kind of a spike. And then you don't have a snack because part of the plan that I recommend is no snacking at all. You're just having two meals a day. So we wipe out another spike. Uh, we do have a lunch. It probably won't be as big of a spike as uh, anybody else would because we're not eating many carbs. We skip any snack in between. We have a dinner. No midnight snack or late night snack. So guess what? We've gone from about five or six spikes in our glucose. We've cut it down to two. And then those two are not going to be quite as big because we're not eating that many carbs. So our, our glucose pattern looks more like this. And my friend, this is a huge improvement. Let me say it again. This is a huge improvement uh, from those five or six spikes. And especially when these two meals, the ones that you are having, are low carb. I mean, huge. And your A1C cannot help but reflect this. It will reflect it. I, I guarantee it. Uh, it may take you a while. And I can't guarantee it'll happen immediately, but it will happen. So enjoy Bulletproof Coffee. But here's the thing, the, the major benefit, th there's really two benefits, especially if you're overweight, you don't want that many calories anyway. So you're having less calories than you would a big breakfast. And then secondly, almost no carbs. Now, if you're skinny, then you don't need to worry about calories. In fact, you probably ought to be eating something uh, in lieu of uh, as a breakfast. But you would, it wouldn't have to be bulletproof coffee. For example, if you say, well, I just, I, I need a meal, Dennis. I just have to have a meal. I'm, I'm really struggling. I've got to have a breakfast meal. Well, how about two or three eggs, boiled eggs or scrambled eggs, but just avoid anything with calories, uh, with, excuse me, avoid anything with carbohydrates. So three boiled eggs or three scrambled eggs, almost no carbs to speak of. You're good. The other thing you could do is have your uh, breakfast, eat a regular breakfast, regular lunch, and skip dinner. Some people prefer to do it that way. That's perfectly fine. In fact, it's probably a little better. But there is an advantage to eating uh, something with less calories and no carbs as opposed to eating something with a lot of carbs and a lot of calories. So bulletproof coffee fills the bill, but if you say, I've got to have something to munch on, Dennis, I've got to eat something that I chew with my mouth, then try a couple of boiled eggs or three boiled eggs. I give you permission on this challenge. If you want to have, instead of bulletproof coffee, have some regular coffee 
and a couple of boiled eggs, a couple of uh, scrambled eggs, uh, that will work. Uh, and if you're skinny, then maybe you need to do that. If you're overweight, you really want to watch those calories. Calories do matter. So this is how I do it. I've been doing this for several years now. I didn't, I didn't do it when I started out with beet diabetes. I was eating a regular breakfast, but sometime into the process, when I really discovered intermittent fasting and time-restricted eating, I thought, well, all right, bulletproof coffee uh, works for me. You say, well, why eat anything at all? Well, the answer is it does satiate me a bit. It, it does make me feel like I've had something and I am ingesting some calories. So it helps me to get through the morning without feeling like too much of a martyr. So that's how I do it. Uh, if you're in the challenge, that's how I'd recommend you to do it, either with Bulletproof Coffee or with some eggs or anything that has almost no carbs to it. And if you're overweight, then you probably want something that's not going to have too many calories either. And I know this has calories. You know, cream has calories, butter has calories, but they're not that many. All right, there's another example of how I eat to beat diabetes. If you've recently been diagnosed with diabetes and you've just discovered this channel, let me recommend that you go to our uploads page, which will give you access to every diabetic video we've posted since we began. As you work your way through all our videos, I believe you'll find the help you need. A link to our uploads page is in the description.